world finds it important now that all educators, including every teacher in as many schools possible, teach and practice the concept of coding so that the knowledge of it can be imparted to the student's best understanding. As it's a new subject, the teachers need to make sure the knowledge they pass on is well developed so that we as students are ready to take on the future that lies ahead. Now, you might be wondering, how should I make a connection to such a topic? Or why is it even important? Don't I have enough to do already? Well, in that case, let's go back to the early era of humankind. The early era of humankind, important. Now, around that time, we didn't even know why thunder struck. Or we used to get very fascinated to see birds fly. Questions like why the mountains grew so tall were raised, literally. Sadly, all of this was for naught, considering we never knew the physics behind it all. However, it was the decoding of natural laws that led to the humanization of nature. Decoding the law behind friction led to the coding of fire, and now we've created steam engines and ignitions. The development of society went from understanding the basics of DNA to literally conquering diseases, finding codes of cure for them. Back when we just understood the basics of aerodynamics to fast forwarding where we are today. Literally flying in airplanes. All of this, the development of society and bringing a fundamental shift in the way we view technology should turn us from passive consumers to active producers. Considering, now get this right, there is a massive, massive difference between being able to create content and consuming them. Here's an analogy to make you understand this better. We all use the Uber app. Want to go to your friend's house? Uber it. Meeting at your colleague's place in 15 minutes? Uber it. Now, think of it in this way. By using the Uber app, we really only are utilizing the app and not really learning how it functions. Meaning, it doesn't satisfy our wants as properly, considering it hasn't been made by us. After learning the systematics of coding, not only will you be able to create a software, but this one would be much more efficient considering this time it would have been made or coded by you. According to Nick Morrison from Forbes magazine, in the United Kingdom itself, it is now compulsory for children to take up computer programming as a school course subject till the time they're 16, making it the first country ever to do so. How does this help? Well, it makes us all realize that the future is coding. Coding is the basic literacy in the digital age. And it's important for us to realize the future that lies ahead. And especially for us to be able to innovate with the technology around us. It will definitely make us more of a critical thinker. Coding is the best way I found to do so, considering you can't just wing it when you're solving a code. You really have to take the time, think about it, and understand it at a deeper level. Coding involves many processes such as debugging, etc., through which you can find resilience by understanding and solving each code. As you solve more difficult codes, you'll find yourself becoming more focused and organized, which is a always a good thing, I guess. And if you think of it, learning code in a way does mean you're learning a new language. So that's cool. All it takes is a push. Once you learn how to ace a topic such as coding, not only will you be prepared for life, but you'll also be able to make a difference for the betterment of this world, hence becoming a means of empowerment. To conclude my talk, I'd like to quote Steve Jobs. Everybody should learn how to program a computer because it teaches you how to think. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.